Telling everyone sugar substitutes should not be used to lose weight. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler talks to a local weight loss doctor about those new recommendations on cutting out artificial sweeteners. Cheryl and Savoy just had gastric bypass surgery three weeks ago here at Bayfront Health in St. Petersburg. So far, she's down 25 pounds. It's going great. I feel amazing. Yeah. I haven't felt this good in years. Savoy says along with the surgery, she's working to eat a healthy, balanced diet, one that does not include a lot of non-sugar sweeteners. This is a whole lifestyle change, so there's not really a whole lot of room for artificial sweeteners. I mean, I do sometimes like a water or so a day, I will use like a sweetener or something. When it comes to those artificial sweeteners, the World Health Organization says don't use them to try and control weight because of the potential health risks. The WHO says the sweeteners don't help when it comes to losing weight and increase the risk of type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and even early death. We talked with Dr. Alexander Ramirez at Bayfront Health's Weight Loss and Bariatric Surgery Institute. He says obesity in the U.S. is worse than ever. So we had excess food available. We had too many free food. We had too many opportunities to go to eat outside. And we are making lines in the restaurants every day. Dr. Ramirez says the sweeteners in many processed foods do lead to serious health problems. Talking about anti-calories. Anti-calories is uh, all the sugar is an anti-calorie. Just give you calories, they can provide you with energy, but it's no nutritional factor. The Calorie Control Council, a food industry group, says in a statement it strongly disagrees with the WHO's recommendation and that the safety of non-sugar sweeteners has been firmly established and does help with weight management. Meanwhile, Sherilyn says she's still eating things that she enjoys but concentrating on giving her body the right fuel it needs. It's more about taking care of myself and what's going to get me through the day and what's going to make me feel good. In St. Petersburg, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.